The James Webb Space Telescope captured the most precise picture yet of the interstellar object 3i Atlas. Its chemistry seems foreign. It travels unrestricted and its behavior is unlike anything else we've seen before. This is our sharpest look yet at something that originated outside the solar system, the first detailed look at 3i Atlas. On August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto an interstellar object unlike anything previously seen. The image of Atlas was taken using its near-IR spectrometer NearSpec. Webb delivered not a blur, but a high-resolution image revealing a sharply defined nucleus enveloped in a coma rich with dust and gas. Nevertheless, it was the chemistry that stunned astronomers. Water did not dominate the coma, as is common in comets, it was primarily carbon dioxide CO. Webb estimated a CO to H Cho ratio close to 8 to 1, one of the highest values ever recorded. This alone reclassified 3i Atlas as chemically exotic. Traces of carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide, and carbonyl sulfide OCS were also found, but water vapor was suppressed, possibly buried beneath dust or shielded within the object's structure. The directionality of the emissions made things even stranger. Gas was primarily fleeing in the direction of the sun, implying focused outgassing rather than random sublimation. All of this occurred at a distance of 3.3 astronomical units, still cold by solar standards, demonstrating that 3i Atlas was active well before typical sublimation thresholds. Thanks to its infrared sensitivity, Webb could distinguish individual emissions as well as MAPCO, HO, and dust concentrations in space. What once appeared as a hazy speck now revealed textured, directional plumes, contours, and fine-scale structures that helped scientists decode both the surface thermal dynamics and the object's composition. It was more than just a better view. This was a paradigm shift. Webb had transformed a brief interstellar comet into a structural and chemical profile, permanently archived at the highest clarity ever achieved for an object not from our system of stars. And that clarity began raising new, deeper questions. What the instruments on Webb revealed was not simply surprising, it was unheard of. While most solar system comets release HO as their dominant volatile, 3i Atlas released CO in massive excess. An 8 to 1 COH Cho ratio is not just uncommon. It challenges the very assumptions behind the formation and chemistry of comet zones. As a result, 3i Atlas may have emerged beyond the CO ice line in its home system, a region far colder than the ones that produce typical comets. Alternatively, its interior water ice could be buried under a crust blocking sunlight from triggering sublimation. In either case, its structure and environment were alien to our experience. Webb also detected minor volatiles like CO and OCS, which serve as clues to the object's thermal and radiation history. Even conceivable isotopic traces, such as carbon-13 and CO, were tentatively identified, though dust interference makes interpretation more difficult. These spectral fingerprints were precisely recorded at infrared wavelengths of 4.3 micrometers for CO, HO, and 2.7 micrometers. The instrument's resolution allowed astronomers to separate overlapping outgassing jets and relate emissions to the orientation of the nucleus relative to the sun. This helped them construct models for thermal conductivity, layered sublimation, and rotational dynamics. But perhaps most important was what these results suggested, either 3i. Atlas was born from an entirely different recipe of solar system formation. Or the ice rule of sublimation and outgassing, which we've relied on for decades, is far more variable than expected. The data from Webb now permit comparison between local and interstellar comets and open the door to testing whether dominant elements like CO are norms across the galaxy or local deviations. The clearest image of an interstellar object ever taken has also become one of the most chemically rich. As a result, the narrative shifts from observation to revolution. Before Webb, interstellar objects were glimpsed only in fragments, unclear tales, unresolved nuclei, and chemical guesses. 
But now, with 3 i Atlas, the veil has lifted. What the James Webb Space Telescope delivered wasn't just a photo, it was a micrograph of a ghost from another world. The picture showed a sharper-than-ever nucleus encased in an asymmetrical coma glowing with thermal emissions. Its dust structure and gas plumes were mapped with remarkable clarity. Infrared capabilities made this possible. Unlike visible light telescopes, Webb peers into wavelengths that detect heat, molecular vibration, and chemical fingerprints. Its sensors picked up distinct zones within the coma, regions where CO emissions peaked, areas where dust was denser, and shadows where HO trailed behind, all from over 3.30 away. At that distance, it's still too cold for conventional comet models to fully explain such activity. What stunned researchers were the coma's asymmetries. Gas and dust weren't uniformly distributed, bright plumes emanated from the sun-facing side, while the opposite remained subdued. These irregularities weren't just aesthetic quirks, they hinted at an internal structure that differed significantly, perhaps with vents on the surface or deep compositional zoning in the nucleus. The boundary between nucleus and coma was also more clearly defined than expected. Instead of blending gradually, Webb's resolution made a sharp transition's own visible, probably shaped by localized sublimation or sudden exposure of volatiles. The design challenged presumptions that comet formation is always gradual and symmetrical. Crucially, the signal-to-noise ratio remained high despite the faintness of the object and its distance. That alone is a testament to Webb's engineering.